Basic Chemistry by Karen Timberlake, Chapter 1. Now that you're in a chemistry class, you may be wondering what you will be learning. What questions in science have you been curious about? Perhaps you're interested in how smog is formed, what oak causes ozone depletion, how nails form rust, or how aspirin relieves a headache. Just like you, chemists are curious about the world we live in. How does a car exhaust produce smog that hangs over our cities? One component of car exhaust is nitrogen oxide, which forms in car engines where high temperatures convert nitrogen gas to oxygen gas to nitrogen oxide. In chemistry, these reactions are written in the form of equations, such as N2 plus O2 yields 2NO. Why has the ozone loader been depleted in certain parts of the atmosphere? During the 1970s, scientists discovered that substances called chlorofluorocarbons were associated with the depletion of ozone. As CFCs are broken down by ultraviolet light, chlorine is released that causes a breakdown in ozone molecules and destroys the ozone layer. Why does aspirin relieve a headache? When a part of the body is injured, a substance is called prostaglandins are produced, which cause inflammation and pain. Aspirin acts to block the production of prostaglandins, thereby reducing inflammation, pain, and fever. Chemists perform many different kinds of research. Some design new fuels and more efficient ways to use them. Researchers in the medical field develop new treatments for diabetes, genetic defects, cancer, AIDS, and other diseases. Researchers in the environmental field study ways in which human development impacts the environment and develops processes to help reduce environmental degradation. For the researcher in the lab, physician in the dialysis unit, the environmental chemist, agricultural scientist, chemistry plays a central role in understanding problems, assessing possible solutions, and making important decisions. Section 1. Chemistry and Chemicals Chemistry is the study of the composition, structure, properties, and reactions of matter. Matter is another word for all the substances that make up our world. Perhaps you imagine that chemistry takes place only in a laboratory where a chemist is working in a white coat and, coat and goggles. Actually, chemistry happens all around you every day and has an impact on everything you use and do. You're doing chemistry when you cook food, add bleach to your laundry, or start your car. A chemical reaction has taken place when silver tarnishes or an antacid tablet fizzes and dropped into water. Plants grow because of chemical reactions convert carbon dioxide, water, and energy to carbohydrates. Chemical reactions take place when you digest food and break it down into substances that you need for energy and health. Branches of Chemistry The field of chemistry is divided into several branches. General chemistry is the study of the composition, properties, and reactions of matter. Organic chemistry is the study of substances that contain the element carbon. Biological chemistry is the study of the chemical reactions that take place in biological systems. Today, chemistry is often combined with other sciences, such as geology and physics, to form cross-disciplines such as geochemistry and physical chemistry. Geochemistry is the study of the chemical compositions of ores, soils, and minerals on the surface of the Earth and other planets. Physical chemistry is the study of the physical nature of chemical systems, including energy changes. Chemicals a chemical is a substance that always has the same composition and properties, whatever it is found. All the things that you see around you are composed of one or more chemicals. Chemical processes take place in chemistry laboratories, manufacturing plants, and pharmaceutical labs, as well as every day in nature and in our bodies. Often the term chemical and substance are used interchangeably to describe a specific type of matter. Every day you use products containing substances that were developed and prepared by chemists. Soaps and shampoos contain chemicals that remove oil from your skin and scalp. When you brush your teeth, the substances in toothpaste clean your teeth, prevent plaque formation, and stop tooth decay. Some of the chemicals used to make toothpaste are listed in Table 1.1. In cosmetics and lotions, chemicals are used to moisturize, prevent deterioration of the product, fight bacteria, and thicken the product. Your clothes may be made of natural materials such as cotton, or synthetic substances such as nylon or polyester. Perhaps you wear a ring or watch made of gold, silver, or platinum. Your breakfast cereal is probably fortified with iron, calcium, and phosphorus, while milk you drink is enriched in vitamin A and D. 
Antioxidants are chemicals added to food to prevent it from spoiling. Some of the chemicals you may encounter when you cook in the kitchen is shown in Figure 1.1.